Let's have a formal definition of a statement. When you say statement, we are referring to a sentence that is either true or false, but not both simultaneously. For example, London is the capital of England. William Shakespeare wrote the television series Modern Family. So these sentences here could either be true or false. Now, what are not statements? So if statements are sentences that could either be true or false, but not both, then what are not statements? So some examples of uh, sentences that are considered to be not statements are commands, questions, opinions. These are not statements because they are neither true nor false. For example, Titanic is the greatest movie of all time. This is your opinion because of the word greatest, then that makes it just an opinion. Another example, read pages 23 to 57. This is an order or a command. This cannot be considered a statement. If I start losing my memory, how will I know? This is a question. This is not a statement. Our ultimate goal really in this lesson is to be able to identify validity of statements. So to do this mathematically, we want to represent statements and we use lowercase letters to represent statements. That is what we use in symbolic logic. In that way, it would be easier to discuss the validity of the statement. So to illustrate this, let's take a look at the examples here. The statement London is the capital of England will be represented as P. And the statement William Shakespeare wrote the television series Modern Family is represented as Q. Now let's talk about negation or negating statements. When you negate a true statement, the statement becomes false. And when you negate a false statement, then the statement becomes a true statement. Form the negation of the statement. So let's consider the statement here. Shakespeare wrote the television series Modern Family. How do we write the negation of this statement? To negate this statement, we will just write it as Shakespeare did not write the television series Modern Family. So if you notice the original statement, this is written in a, a positive essence. Now to negate this, we will just make it a sort of negative essence. We have wrote the television series. So to negate it, we'll just have to write it did not write the television series Modern Family. We could also say it is not true that Shakespeare wrote the television series Modern Family. Another example, consider the statement today is not Monday. To negate this statement, we will just take off this word not. So we could say today is Monday. Or we could also say it is not true that today is not Monday. This is a bit odd, but that is the negation of that statement. Or, or you could just say today is Monday. Now, how do we express negation symbolically? Now, if we could represent statements using lowercase letters, for example, this statement Shakespeare wrote the television series Modern Family, we represented this one symbolically as P, and Q is used to represent the statement, today is not Monday. Now, if you want to express this statement here symbolically, Shakespeare did not write the television series Modern Family can be written symbolically as, so you see this symbol here, this is used to denote not P. 
because the statement P refers to Shakespeare wrote the television series Modern Family. So to negate this, that is the statement here, uh, we will just have to use this symbol here. This symbol is used to denote not or the negation of statement P. To negate uh, this statement here, today is not Monday. So the negation for that one, which is today is Monday, in symbolic notation or symbolically, this will just be not Q.